hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video another makeup tutorial at that finally so in this video i will be filming this look that you guys see here giving very much springtime you know what i mean um it's a very fun look if you guys are interested in seeing how i created this look then please keep watching i've missed you guys i haven't posted a makeup tutorial in quite a while so uh, we are back and i'm gonna just jump right in y'all know i don't do all that talking about that action i'm just waiting so i am <laughs> gonna start off using benefit goof proof a brow pencil in the shade number four this is what i always use hey guys i'm actually vlogging as well so i'm filming on two cameras right now and uh, yeah how was you guys Easter? How are you guys doing today? My Easter was really fun. This whole week has been fun. I do need to go and purchase another freaking pencil. I've been saying that for the longest. And the other day I actually walked past an Ulta and I didn't even stop to pick one up. Y'all do not mind my hair, okay? Like, it looks, it looks crazy right now. But I love doing these little, you know, mimicking some hair strokes. It looks so good when you do that in the front of your brows. My brow routine, I feel like it's very easy. I don't even try to be like super precise anymore. And like, I, I don't know. I'm starting to like how it looks like when it's not super bold and super like precise, if that makes sense. Like, you know, just more naturally filled in, but still has, but still is defined, if that makes sense, girl. I don't know what I'm saying, okay. Okay, I know you guys missed my, my makeup tutorials. So, okay, after I was doing all those tutorials, so I took all my lighting and my camera and my tripod upstairs to try to film a, a shower routine, like something different. And I've never taken it back out. That is why I haven't been posting makeup tutorials because all my stuff was still upstairs and I was just too freaking lazy to bring it downstairs because, <laughs> so that is why. But I'm back and I'm really excited. I love filming. And some days though, some days I do just want to vlog. Some days like I'm not feeling like makeup tutorials. Sometimes I get in a funk and I get annoyed when I think of a look and it doesn't come out the way I imagined or I just can't figure out what color scheme to do or just what look to do, I don't know. I try to show different content on my channel. But I know a lot of people only come for my makeup tutorials because that is what I started off doing on my channel. So it's kind of different if I just post a vlog and, you know, maybe like a shower routine or a day in the life with me type of video, you know, stuff like that. Okay, you guys, so I already went ahead and did this. I, I'm going to keep it really simple, very easy for everyone to do. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, and it's very wearable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal this brow using the same concealer. I always use my, one of my favorites, the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. And it's in the shade Toffee. Yeah, Toffee Caramel. Okay, so I feel like working with yellow is always a tricky color to work with. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a nice, smooth base. Make sure that it's not creasing or anything right when you blend this concealer. Right when you blend this concealer out or, you know, whatever you use to prime with, go ahead and blend it out. Make sure it is nice and even. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the Juvia's Place palette right here and I'm going to take this shade right here on a Sigma E54 brush. I 
Julia's Place eyeshadows are just really nice anyways. But I feel like sometimes when you use yellow, it just looks very chalky, you know? But this one is coming on very smooth. And I'm not picking up too much product. And the pigment is definitely there. All of their eyeshadows just are always very pigmented. Next, you guys, I will be um, doing my eyeliner using the Essence Super Last Matte Black Eyeliner. And then I'm going to pop on my lashes and then we're going to move on to skin. So the first things I'm going to apply to my skin is the, is the Huda Beauty Get Even Rose Oil. And then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. I haven't done yellow in a long time. That's cute. Okay, so on my next video, you guys, I'm going to film another spring makeup tutorial and I will use like more lighter products on the skin. You know what I mean? Because I know this foundation is pretty heavy and, you know, it's starting to get warm outside. So this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter in the shade Toffee. So I'm definitely going to find something more lightweight to use. Make sure we cover this up. For sure. It looks very natural. Like it, it is a very thick foundation, but it looks very natural and it doesn't feel that heavy on the skin at all. But I feel like um, this would be better to be blended out with a brush instead of a sponge. Okay, next, you guys, for concealer, I'm going to use <coughs> yo, this pollen. I have really bad allergies right now. Like, girl, I can't. I can't even. Ugh, I can't even talk straight. Literally everything like itches my ears, my eyes, everything. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. Of course, it's one of my favorite concealers, and it's um affordable. And I'm using the shade 150 Natural Sand. This is what it looks like. It has a really, really good coverage. Sometimes I be putting a little bit too much because this concealer, like a little bit, definitely goes a long way. I be putting a little too much. Definitely need to cover homegirl up right here. I'm going to cream contour using the Huda Beauty um, cream contour in the shade Light. Next, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and quickly set using the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Setting Powder. And I'm, of course, going to use my same beauty blender that I blended everything out with. I'm gonna go ahead and set the cream contour in place using my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. Per usual, baby, this is one of my favorites. Very affordable. And this is a really good contour palette. Um, I had this for years. I'm gonna use this one right here on a Eco Tools Round Powder Brush. So 
So you guys, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this Wet n Wild Liquid Ketsune, um Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow right here. I'm gonna apply a little bit in the inner corner. And it's in the shade Goldie Looks. And I'm going to apply this with my Laura Mercier. Um, it's just like a pointed eyeshadow brush. So you guys, I changed my mind. This is so last minute. I already put freaking mascara on my bottom lashes and everything, but I'm gonna take this pink shade right here and drag it underneath. Like I need another pop of color, like it's springtime. So I'm using my Sigma E54 brush. Y'all know when I do colorful looks, I love to just throw on a bunch of different colors. So I used to do all the time. Just a pop of another random color. I'm gonna just put some more mascara on. So next for a highlight, I'm gonna use the Revlon Skin Lights highlighter. Y'all already know. This is one of my favorites right now. And I'm going to use the It's My Ray Ray number five brush to apply this. So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything that I applied will be down in my description box, so make sure to check that out. Make sure to comment because I love when you guys comment on my videos and we just can chat it up in the comment section, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.